Hi everyone, Namaste. Welcome to Fever FM. I'm Sri Ram Sulia. I host the superhero show five to nine o'clock every single day on Fever One Zero Four FM in Bangalore City. By the way, here's something for us to think about. Did you know that stroke is a major global public health problem? In fact, in India alone, stroke is increasingly becoming the main reason for premature deaths and disability. As per World Stroke Organization, one out of every four people has a chance of suffering a stroke in their lifetime, and that's not all. In our country, of around 1.8 million people suffer from a stroke, and very few people manage to reach the hospital in time. Mm -hmm. Time is of a lot of essence during a stroke. That's some serious food for thought right there, don't you think? And that's the reason I've invited our guest today, Dr. Manish Yadav. He is a consultant vascular interventional radiologist from Kim's Health Trivandrum. Dr. Manish, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for joining us. Let's get straight to it. Doctor, what is a brain stroke and how severe is the disease? Okay, so a uh, brain stroke is what uh, affects our brain. Basically, our brain depends on the uh, glucose and oxygen, uh, which comes to the brain through the blood vessel. So whenever uh, this blood vessel has a problem, the blood is not able to reach the brain adequately. That's when the stroke happens. So what basically a stroke is, is uh, a part of the brain stops functioning. It may happen because the blood circulation is not adequate and the brain is not getting enough oxygen or uh, glucose to function normally, that's when that of the brain stops working. That can produce a symptom uh, because the brain is not working. We may not be able to move our hand. We may not be able to move our legs or we may not be able to talk properly or we may have a disturbance in vision or disturbance in balance. All these are early warning symptoms of stroke. That means the part of our brain is not functional. Right. I mean, yeah. uh, I was just getting to that in terms of elaborating a little about what are the symptoms of a stroke and how exactly someone can actually recognize if he or she has a stroke. Okay. So basically uh, what World Stroke Organization and all the big stroke uh, uh, organizations have come out with an acronym called as PAST. Uh, F st uh, stands for PACE. That means if you find somebody, uh, your near or dear one or your friends having um, a shift in their face or there is a change in their facial symmetry, that's one of the signs of uh, stroke. The next is A. A is for the arm. Uh, arm means if, if you uh, try and shake hand with them, they are not able to have a, a good power. They are not able to lift their hand there is any difference in the power between the two hands. That is one of the uh, signs of stroke. S, S is for speech. Uh, that means if, if the uh, person having a change in voice or um, is not able to uh, understand or talk properly, that is one of the symptoms of stroke. And T stands for time. That means that it is, uh, if you have any of these symptoms, it is time to see a medical help. Time to go to a stroke ready hospital as well. FAST, that is definitely yeah. an acronym that we need to keep in mind. Uh, face drooping to the arms dropping uh, and definitely being ready for the situation. And uh, most of the time, uh, we have this whole attitude amongst us Indians ki mujhe kuch nahi ho sakta, but this can actually happen to anyone. And we need to be as cautious and ready and informed more than anything. Doctor, Anyway, a stroke can be prevented. Let's talk about stroke prevention. Yes, uh, it's an important part is uh, we should be aware about the stroke prevention is that if we have a diabetes, we should uh, control our sugar, take our medicines regularly. If we have hypertension, uh, just make sure our blood pressure is in control. We should be regular around medications. And um, one important thing is we should be active. We should be part of some form of physical activity. Um, in in uh, cities and it, with the modern lifestyle, we have become more and more sedentary, which has, in fact, uh, one of the reasons why the stroke is coming up. It's good to engage in some form of physical sports, which is good for our physical activity. If you don't like sports, just a simple walking or a running or some form of physical activity keeps us fit. Healthy diet 
is another something which should be recommended to prevent stroke if you have any uh, bad habits like smoking or alcohol uh, it's good to smoking i would say to stop it and alcohol to reduce it as much as possible right i mean just the over the last few months <clears throat> just the amount of uh, time we got to spend indoors the physical activities has definitely taken a bit of a hit but uh, we can always improvise we can always come up with a way to be physically active we can improvise and that's what makes us one of the most intelligent species that's out there um, and just a word of caution to all the smokers doctor most of the time that's the first thing that is asked when a person comes to a hospital right uh, do you smoke do you drink that's how much of an impact smoking and drinking can have on a person so uh, try and refrain say no to smoking say no to tobacco as well uh, doctor i once again thank you for your time and just elaborating these points just breaking it down for us it definitely helps us understand this in a much more easier manner and being educated about these things is all the more crucial now coming to some treatment options if let's say somebody suffers with a stroke a family member is suffering from a stroke it could be myself it could be a family member anyone what are the treatment options that are available can you throw some light on that please so uh, basically the the treatment of stroke is a large part is reversible if we reach the hospital in time so uh, one of the themes which is projected of this world stroke day is time is brain so uh, if you reach the hospital uh, within a particular time frame and as early as possible to a large extent the stroke may be reversible there are two major forms of treatment which can help you reverse the stroke uh, in the early part uh, first part is a thrombolysis where uh, uh, through the uh, vein uh, medicine is injected which goes all around the body and lies the clot which is causing uh, the stoppage of the blood supply in the brain that is the first part of the uh, treatment the second part of the treatment in case the thrombus is big or it is occluding a large vessel uh, may be able to do a procedure which is called as central thrombectomy where we go inside the, the occluded blood vessel deploy a temporary stent or uh, using a special catheter we can try and suck out the clot this method can open up even large vessels which are occluded actually this treatment has revolutionized the treatment of stroke um, in in present world that's why we are talking about it so much because um, previously larger strokes were considered to be uh, non treatable um, that's where this therapy has made a tremendous difference even with the larger stroke if they reach hospital within uh, 24 hours uh, to be precise within 6 hours and if in certain cases up to 24 hours this treatment can be offered and it has made a large impact on a lot of people if they reach the hospital on time right well that's exactly what i was coming to um, you with the time as well waqt kisi ke liye nahi rukta and uh, time is of essence here i've heard of something called the golden hour uh, and the first 60 minutes is so very crucial um, and why is there so much of discussion about time and stroke when it comes to uh, timely treatment and getting it at the nick of time doctor uh, so uh, we must understand what happens in a stroke so what happens is basically when the blood supply is stopped uh, our neurons uh, the cells within our brain they they start dying because they are not getting adequate oxygen and glucose they start dying when they start dying the part of the cell uh, part of the brain which is uh, dead is actually small in all stroke it is a very small uh, part which dies initially and this part of the uh, brain which is dead it keeps expanding every minute so we say in every minute there are 2 million neurons which continue to die so every minute of delay Uh, will lead to another 2 million neurons which are dying so that's the important so as early as possible we can open the blood vessel we can save that many neurons and reverse the effect of stroke that's the importance of time wow and that that explains time as brain as an expression that is used absolutely uh, 
absolutely amazing uh, doctor just coming to the current times that we are living in we are in the middle of a pandemic i'd like to say middle and not the beginning hopefully um but right now there are plenty of reports that say that covid-19 patients have a higher risk of a stroke is that true can you validate that yes definitely uh, what what is the experience worldwide and in, even in india uh, basically uh, we as we understand more and more about coronavirus 19 Uh, we understand that it it also causes hypercoagulable state where our blood is um, the clotting tendency of our blood is much higher so it has uh, led to increase amount of stroke especially in covid patients where we see lot more incidence of covid uh, of stroke compared to non covid patients uh, not only stroke uh, even covid has caused uh, blood supply problems in all over the body be it lung be it Uh, the arms legs the coronary vessels so uh, uh, we know that it's a hypercoagulable state and it does increases the risk of stroke that's uh, very important to understand especially and we see this trend not only during covid i mean so when the patient person is affected by covid uh, there is a, a, a large amount of data which is coming out which says that even when the uh, person is recovered from covid even after that the uh, person is at higher risk of um, developing stroke and other blood clotting related problems right doctor from your experience um is there any observance that you would like to share with us as to something that um, you have seen a pattern as such something that we can avoid uh, most people sometimes may end up taking time or probably visiting the wrong um hospital or a doctor without really realizing what needs to be done there may be panic sometimes as well what has been your observation uh so um initially when we started the stroke campaign uh, we used to receive lot of patients who will be late uh, by the time they recognize the uh, stroke or um, they will be going around uh, for some time uh, so where they lose time so it's important to go to a stroke ready hospital if you think that you are having a stroke you uh, you must identify a stroke ready hospital in your locality where you can go and all forms of treatment are available in that particular hospital uh it's it's very very important because uh, if you reduce your time when you reach the hospital you may be able to reverse a large part of the stroke so uh, do not waste time do not think that this is something which you can take lightly and by next morning once you sleep over it and you'll be gone uh, identify these strokes early sometimes you may have a stroke which may re- recover within 30 seconds or so these are called as uh, a transient ischemic attacks which may be a ca- kind of warning sign of a major stroke coming ahead it's important to identify this and seek medical advice as early as possible which can prevent any catastrophe yes well doctor great insights and we'll remember fast um the symptoms being um drooping of face um having no control of your arms there was s which is uh, seeing is that vision uh s is for speech 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 where we are slurring and t of course is for timely intervention and making sure that we visit a stroke ready hospital um great insights thank you once again for spending time with us world stroke day as well um i'm sure your words of wisdom and experience uh in the medical field will help a lot of our listeners let's be sure to remember the health tips and practice them prioritize our health above all and this stroke day let's promise to take care of ourselves and the ones around us as well stay hooked to fever 104 fm dr manish yadav thank you once again pleasure connecting with you